Hey, and welcome. Today's talking topic is the power of perspective. I'm author and speaker Toria Lee, and you are watching Toria Talk Tuesday. So if you have seen the news at all, uh, you are aware of the chaos that is currently going on in our world with the COVID-19 um, and all of that craziness. So I wanted to talk today about how powerful perspective can be because we've been told to you know, social distance, to stay home, don't go out, things like that. And that can seem like a huge bummer. And if we look at that way, it's going to be perceived that way. And this time, this extra time at home is going to suck, quite honestly. If we're going to view it as this inconvenience, we're not going to have any fun with it. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be this terrible thing to remember. But you can change your perspective. And instead of viewing the extra time at home as this terrible thing, yes, this is a hard and a scary thing that's going on in our world, but instead of viewing the extra time at home as an inconvenience or as this troublesome thing, view it as a gift. View it as a blessing. How can you make your time at home significant? How can you make it special? How can you make it a, a fun thing to remember instead of this terrible thing to remember? You know, if you've been wanting to write a book, write that book. If you maybe have an estranged relationship with a family member, Start working on that. Chances are you're in the same household with them. Or maybe you could FaceTime a grandparent, see how they're doing. Ask them about their story. Say, when you were younger, did you go through anything like this? What was the biggest thing of your childhood, you know? Ask them, you know, video time that, uh, FaceTime them. Or just give them a call and say, hey, how are you doing with all this, you know? Did you, what was your childhood like? Did you face, um a big thing like this. Ask your parents the same thing. Get to know them a little bit more than maybe you think you do. Play a game with your family. Watch a movie. View this time as a gift. How can you use it? Maybe your mom can teach you how to cook. Maybe you could enjoy time with a, with your siblings. You know, you get, the possibilities are endless if you can just get a little bit creative. You can just change the way you're thinking about this. Instead of, oh, this sucks, I have to stay home, start thinking, how can I best use the time at home to benefit me? Whether that be in relationships, whether that just be having fun with the family, whether that be work for you. Um, like I said, a lot of people want to write a book, but they don't have the time or they don't ever make themselves sit down and do it. So write that book. Take this time. Write the book. Maybe there's a book you've been wanting to read. Read the book, right? There's plenty of things to do. Pick up a new hobby or something you can do at home, right? There, the possibilities are endless if you let your mind go there. But it just it's just that small shift of perspective. Instead of it being an inconvenience, it's a blessing or a gift, right? Or a challenge, right? Rise to the occasion. I challenge you to rise to the occasion, right? To find some good in this, to, to have fun at home. You can't have fun at home despite what people believe, right? So... That's my encouragement to you guys. I mean, even my family, we got to play a board game the other day. Um, when my dad was home, he was supposed to be traveling, but he wasn't. So we all got to play a board game together, and that was a lot of fun. We used our time wisely, right? Our time together as a family. We didn't view it as an inconvenience. It was a blessing. It was a gift in disguise, right? So that's what I encourage you guys for this time when you are locked up in your houses, right? But I also want to encourage you guys, this is a stressful time, but it doesn't have to be full of panic. It doesn't have to be scary. Honestly, I have this overwhelming sense of peace because I know that it's all held in the Father's hands, right? I know who's sovereign after all of this, and that would be God. And I know that my life rests in his hands, just like everybody else rests in his hands. And though it may seem chaotic, he's holding it. And, you know, he's got a purpose for all of it despite how purposeless it may seem. So I encourage you guys, don't embrace the panic. Don't embrace the trauma. Also, get a you know little creative with that, right? You know, say, I'm, I'm not going to panic. I'm going to focus on the good, right? Focus on the good of the situation. Focus on, in the end, who holds the world in their hands, right? So that's my encouragement for you guys. I hope this kind of helps get some juices flowing for what you're going to do while you're inside. So... That's what I got for you guys today. Stay safe, and I hope that you guys use this time for the best. Enjoy it, right? Let's have a blast staying in our homes, because we can do it. I encourage you guys, do it. So that's what I got for you guys today. If this uh, video is found encouraging at all, go ahead and share it, right? So you can encourage someone else. But that's what I got for you this week. I'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching.